Hi everybody, my name is Martin Hill. So, UKIP, in seats, like in Clacton, where they didn't have a representative, 0%, they now got 60%, and in uh, Middleton and uh, Haywood, where they had 3% in the last uh, uh, election, they now had 39%. These are massive increases, massive, unrivaled increases. We've not seen anything like this for a lot of years, if ever. And yet, we're led to believe by the polls that UKIP are, are drifting somewhere in about somewhere between 12 and 15. Some people have those high as 18%. And yet, the people that say that say, but in the general election, that's going to go down. Oh no, they won't get 13, 40% in a general election if they're, if they're polling that now. It's going to go down to maybe 8 or 10%, if that. Really? So people that have voted with their hearts and with real conviction in Middleton and Haywood and in Clacton are suddenly, when the general election comes around, going to change their mind and vote for Labour and Conservative. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think something else is happening. This is different, and it certainly feels different. I think people that voted UKIP now are going to vote UKIP in the general election. That's what it feels like to me. Not only does it feel like that, it feels like the, the amount of people that are going to vote for them is going to increase, not decrease. So I think they could be way off the mark. Obviously, I could be wrong, but something in the air tells me I'm not. I just had a look as well at Cameron's face yesterday after, after the defeat in uh, Clacton, um, and he looked destroyed. For the first time, he's usually very confident. Even if something negative has happened, he's usually very confident and forthright and tries to up the Tory message. But he came out with the old rhetoric of, uh, well, as we've seen, uh, a vote for UKIP is a vote for Labour, and what you'll end up with is Ed Miliband. And the way he said it was so tired, and he sounded like an old dinosaur. Even he was bored with that statement, and this statement is becoming a little bit ridiculous. If you vote for UKIP, we now know you get UKIP, and you can get people into Parliament by voting UKIP. This is the latest news. As far as Ed Miliband goes, I mean, the guy and the party at the moment, it's just a shambles. If they take Ed Miliband into the election, the general election in May next year, for me, it's going to be a catastrophe for Labour. And not only that, the Conservatives are floating all over the place at the moment. This is a massive opportunity for UKIP to get a hell of a lot of seats in Parliament. And I think they are going to get a lot more than the journalists than the Daily Mail, than the Huffington Post, uh, than the Daily Mirror, than the Labour Party, than the Conservatives are telling us a lot more. There's something happening, an undercurrent underneath, and it's building and building, and the tsunami is coming towards the beach, and people are still in the water, saying, I think everything's going to be fine. And suddenly the first wave hits. Maybe the first wave was the European elections. The second wave was Clacton. The third wave was Newton, was Middleton and Hayward. And the fourth monster wave, wave will be the general election. Let's see what happens, folks. By the way, keep voting UKIP.